Well, friends and fellow citizens, we're here celebrating the reaching of the halfway point in the building of our new spur for the railroad line. I don't have to tell you how important this new transportation link is to us in terms of the shipping of our timber and ore and cattle. Now, Mr. Tyndall, head of our merchants committee, has a few words to say. Thank you, Van. In commemoration of this great achievement, I'm asking Na Shan, the foreman of our construction crew, to drive in this silver spike. Hey! And now, I'd like to thank one side, head of the failing Foy, Tong, for his work in completing the job on schedule up to this point. It has been good to work for men of honor who treat my brothers well. So long as this continues, you need not fear that laziness or sloth will overcome us. The work will be completed on schedule. Thank you. <laughs> well, everything's going real good. I hope it keeps up. Well, I hope so, too, for your sake. You put more money and personal prestige into this thing than anybody. Oh, come on now. We're getting something out of it, too, you know. Railroad's buying our wood for the ties. Ah, it's just a drop in the bucket for how much money you got in this thing, Pa. Let's hope nothing goes wrong. What's everybody being such a gloomy gus about? We're happy. The investors are happy. One side is happy. Everybody's happy. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I don't know. Such things as storms, floods, landslides, and other natural calamities. Now, Adam, you know dang well nothing like that's going to happen. As a matter of fact, I got some very special plans for a celebration as soon as this line's finished. Yeah, what kind of plans? You'll find out soon enough, little brother. As a matter of fact, they ought to be coming into Virginia City any minute now. Well, right, let's go home. <laughs> Not one of the worst foggers on the Ponderosa route. Well, it ain't very often, I reckon, that one of your boys gets this kind of a package. Uh, what boy and uh, which package? Hoss and her. She's the shipment. Is this a surprise you were expecting? Be some sort of mistake. I, I sent for I, for fireworks. Nope, no mistake. It says right here on the tag to Mr. Haas Cartwright Esquire, Ponderosa Ranch near Virginia City, Territory of Nevada, United States of America. But but I ordered fireworks from the Yippee Trading Company, Canton, China. Here is the bill of lading. One wife to be delivered oh, in wife. good condition. Wife? Wife? I don't even know her. Name is Tai Lee. Here's her passport, and you can hand over $37.92. That's fire... the excess baggage charges. I ordered fireworks, right? Paul, I... Paul, it was like this. See, I seen this advertisement in the San Francisco Argonaut, and it said for $10, I could get this world's greatest display of fireworks from this Yippee Trading Company in Canton, China, so I ordered it so we could celebrate when the spur line was finished, and they got all mixed up, and... and they sent me this. You insufferable stuffed artichoke. If you think you just like having me here more than I just like being here, you are grossly mistaken. 
It talks. It talks English. Eh, uh, why not? If you can, anyone can. I shall use every word at my disposal to express my contempt for wife trading. Wife trading? Now, see, Paul, that proves it's a mistake. Look, Rafe. Look, Rafe, just mark it wrong address and send back to sender and just put it back on the wagon. Oh, no, you don't. At least not in this wagon. Uh, Hoss, maybe you'd better accept the shipment temporarily until we can talk to the authorities. Well, if it's... if it's real temporary... You dare be supercilious to me. I, I ain't super nothing. But I ordered no wife, neither. Sign here. That'll be thirty-seven ninety-two cash. I ordered fireworks. Uh, Rafe. Did you say, uh, thirty-seven ninety-two? Right. And twenty... 30, 40, keep the change. Thanks. Fireworks. Hop Singh! Hop Singh! Where the places are you? This is very fine place. Typical of rich landowner who live by sweat of others less fortunate. Hop Singh! Yeah, well... Most of the sweating that's done around here, we do it. You call Mr. Carlyle? Yes, I call. Where were you when we were looking in this stuff? Hola. Uh, this is uh, Miss Ty Lee. She'll be our house guest here for a while. Uh, this is Hop Singh, our chief cook and general factotum. As a matter of fact, he's the man who runs the household. The most honor to meet lovely lady whose name means heavenly pink cloud. <laughs> More like gray old thunderstorm. It is nice to meet a countryman in such a far place, but not one in such menial work. Hapsing no understand. Oh, well, uh, Miss Tarvey means that uh, maybe it, uh, being a cook is uh, well, beneath your dignity. Beneath dignity? Have not given matter much thought. You will soon. Don't worry. that on the wall? I mean, uh, is it your grandmother or something? That happens to be the Honorable Miss Lao Chu, president of the Revolutionary and World Remaking Academy for Young Ladies in Fu Chao. I should say it used to be in Fu Chao. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you're, you're a graduate of... What was the name of that school? Miss Lao Chu's Revolutionary and World Remaking Academy for Young Ladies. Well, I almost a graduate. See? No bound feet. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, um, almost a graduate? Oh, well, you see, Miss Lao had very progressive ideas. One of them was to eliminate the Dowager Empress of China, Susi. The Dowager Empress struck first. You mean, uh, Miss Lao uh, paid the supreme penalty? She lost her head completely. I never got my diploma. All the students were scattered. I ended up in the hands of the infamous Yip He. You bought me from him. Well, I guess you'd uh, better do penance and hang Miss Lao Chu. If you don't think that's committing double jeopardy. <laughs>
Good morning, venerable teacher. I dedicate this day to you, and I promise always to remember your three laws of progress. Never mind my own business, never allow people to be contented with their fate, and never be reasonable, for reason leads to compromise, and compromise means defeat. working on Hop Singh now. Oh, she, how many she's we got around here? Her, Ty Lee. Oh, oh she's making mountains out of molehills. That fellow countryman, just talking? I don't know, poet. Seems kind of fishy to me. Yeah, I hope not. I hate fish for breakfast. Oh, it's too early for those kind of stuff. Let's eat. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, well. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Awesome. Only age knows value of courtesy. Hey, there's no fruit. Where's the fruit? I told you there's something fishy going on around here. I'm saying, you usually have fresh fruit for breakfast. Where is it? No fruit today. Why, no hot biscuits? Cold toast. No hot biscuits. No eggs. No nothing, huh? And no thick slice of ham, fried potatoes, blueberry flapjacks, maple syrup, honey, crab apple jelly, or apricot preserves either, right? Miss Lao Chu quote famous Occidental saying, a laborer is worthy of his hire. Small pay, small food. Well, why all of a sudden? You never complained before. He was never educated to his poverty before. No, oh, I got a half a notion. Why don't you just sit still until we get the other half? Uh, now, maybe, maybe Hobson deserves a raise. Of course, if we, if we gave him a raise, we'd have to cut out those free trips to San Francisco, cut out squaring those fan tan losses and giving him that extra money at New Year's. Both American and Chinese. But, Mr. Adam... That is all, Hopsin. Dukala. I'm quite prepared to handle all negotiations. Well, isn't that a pretty one? Chinese wind chime. Brought over from old country. Never seen one quite like this. You're supposed to keep out evil spirit and induce good spirit to go in. Very pleasant superstition. Your house is poorly designed to repel evil spirits. Yes, yes, I've, uh, I've often figured as much. You have no upturned eaves. No sharp projections to stick them and discourage the entry. Oh, I wish we'd have known about that a couple of days ago. Hoss. I reckon it's all that food I ain't been getting, Paul, that's making me grouchy. The fact is that those extra hands for the roundup are going to be coming in today. We've got to figure out some way to feed them since Hop Singh's in the mood he's in. No, oh, don't worry about that. I got us a chuck wagon cook. You just better make sure that the bunkhouse is ready for them. Check it out. It's clean as a whistle. Good. What are these hands you are talking about? Well, that's Western lingo for cowboys. Oh. And what is a bunkhouse? Well, that's where we put them up. How come you're asking all these questions, anyhow? All women are curious. Chinese women no different. Dang, Fay ain't. Howdy, boss. What are you, what are you fellas still doing in here? You're supposed to be out there an hour ago. I'll have 
answer for that. What are you doing in here? It is a simple thing. I have appointed myself spokesman for the workers, and they have accepted me. That's right, horse. That's right, horse. What's the matter with you fellas, anyhow? Listen to this silly little gal here, barely out of her teens. You forgot the sense you was born with? Well, me and the boys figure she's got a lot of sense. Quit smiling like a moon-faced calf. Who are you calling a moon-faced calf? You! Rod, look, we got a thousand cattle running loose out there while you yahoos are in here playing games with this... this maverick. The man will work when you have met our demands, which are quite modest. Our demands? Yes. Extra men on all branding, roping, and fence-mending teams. Better food on the... what you call it? Uh, chuck wagon. Is that all? There is one other item. Oh. Uh, a pool table here in the bunkhouse. A what? A pool table here in the bunkhouse. How about some dimity curtains on your windows? And maybe some little... Now, wait a minute, horse. Wait. You wait a minute. Sit down and shut up, Rod. Leave him alone, Rod. And you too, Clarence. Shut up. Intimidation won't get you nowhere. I ain't tried it yet. But I'm a libel to if this continues. Are you going to beat me? Not exactly. I'm going to give you a little something that Madame Lao Chu forgot. What is that? A good sound spanking. You wouldn't dare. Oh, I wouldn't, huh? Good morning, Hoss. Morning. Interested in my poor invention? Not particular. What is it in here? You just find me small screwdriver, please. Very small. I have a delicate adjustment to make. Thank you. All right. Come on now. Let me take a look. Are you sure you want to? Yeah. Well, in that case... What's in it? Music. It was brought to China by Yankee trader. Listen. I thought you said you invented it. I made a few modifications. Hey. Pop goes away, isn't it? Yes. You are a very fine judge of music. Don't take nothing to figure Pop goes a weasel. Lou taught you that, too, huh? Yes, Miss Lodge would teach everything. Good. I hope. I hope I... No! I no! wish... No! 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 I hope she taught you to swim. Oh, my God, I got your dad's up there, I'll get you! 
Get your butt this! Hey, yo, Chile. Come on, come on. Punch our name. This humble person requests audience of the illustrious Horst Cartwright, distinguished middle son of household. Illustrious Mr. Horst must have read visitor mine. Already hear him approaching with honorable father. Yeah, she's more humiliated than her, but she's sure mad. Oh, now, Sean. Mr. Cartwright, nice to see you. Sean. Oh, come on, sit down. Thank you. What can I do for you? You can do nothing, venerable sir, but Mr. Horse can do much. Me? What? It concerned grave slip-up in operation of Yip He Trading Company of Canton, China. Did you... Did you say Yip He Trading Company of Canton, China? Some months ago, I made contract with esteemed Yip He himself. He is to send me beautiful bride. I am to pay San Francisco agents so many U.S. gold eagles. Well, I pay money, but don't get bribed. Oh, so wasn't that the trading company that... Yep. And you heard that Hoss had received what you had expected to receive and didn't, and so you've come to, uh, to claim her, is that it? You hit nail on hit, sir. Well, old friend, I was never so glad to do a man a favor. Hmm. See, I ordered these fireworks from the Yippee Trading <laughs> Company. I never reckoned on the kind I got. <laughs> no, she's yours. You take her. First, must make sure goods not damaged. Oh, question's silly. <laughs> it most certainly is. I am not a commodity for international barter. I do not recognize the right of this man to buy me like a cow. Any more than that of this man. Do my eyes deceive me? Moon goddess herself, whom you must surely resemble, would get no more tender treatment from me than you, lustrous maiden. Why waste time spouting poetic speech? You have not yet mastered simple morality. You think me a bauble to be played with and tossed aside? Uh, I consider you my promised wife, yearn for during lonely nights. Promise? Not by me. And may I hasten to point out, it is broad daylight. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what are you two arguing about? Anyhow, why, you're going to have years to do that in. <laughs> you don't believe in slavery, do you? Oh, sort of, on a temporary basis. What he means, Tylee, is that uh, love makes a slave of us all. No more foolishness. Man not made to be shamed by woman. We go now. I go nowhere with you. I stay here on Ponderosa. I make life better for all. Not just one man. No good China girl acts so. Well, you, you've never met up with one that was taught by Miss Lao Chu before. Miss Lao Chu, complete stranger. This woman is bewitched. Honorable Horse Court Wright has put her under spell. Me? Oh, no, now, Sean, you don't believe that. Well, you're an educated man. You're, you're a student. You don't believe any such nonsense, do you? Not so sure. But men do crazy things for love. Yeah, but I ain't that crazy yet. You watch language, you miserable worm. You see? Already she treat him like husband. Well, uh, why, why, I, I think we should have a cooling off period. I stay hot, thank you. Go now. End of story, not yet told.
Tylee, you're going to end up an old maid sherry shooting. I bet you not. Oh, Ty Lee, now Sean is such a wonderful young man that you treated him so terribly. He's got a good job and a bright future. And... Yeah. Oh, what kind of work he do? He's the foreman of a railroad construction crew. Oh, how interesting. Where is this work being done? Out on Green Meadows, out in uh, Otter Creek. Oh, well, it would be interesting to see how other countrymen work in this new land. It'd be a whole lot more interesting if you'd go out there and apologize to Nashan. Sure would. Oh, I would speak to Nashan. Rest assured. Well, railroad camp is no place for a young girl to go. Miss Latch would teach us to handle all men in all situations. She could. Where is everybody? What's the matter? Is the woods on fire? You're not too far from being right. Hey, Pa! Yeah, yeah. Well, she's at it again. She? Who? What? You got a pretty short memory. Ty Lee. I was just hoping he has hope, that's all. Not, not, not the railroad workers. That's the only thing left. Nobody else. And if they go along with her, we're in real trouble. How could one wrong-headed woman make fools of so many men? Well, I guess you've forgotten about Eve, Cleopatra, and Lucrezia Borgia, hmm? Not to mention Madame Lao Tu. And it took another woman to nail her. Well, look, you're gonna have to take control. You're gonna have to show her who's boss. I have a feeling she already knows. You ain't giving up. Son, we've just begun to fight. I think it's safe to say that. Come on. Tony Wendy! You must rise above your suppressors! The history of the world proves that revolution is the answer to comedy! You must rise against your oppressors! Listen to me, men. The history of life proved that truth seldom come in fancy rapping. Law of failing foy says brothers must follow master of tongue. I command you, do not listen to silken words. Who shall you follow? Old man or young woman? When we begin to fight, Pa. Or would it be better to run and fight another day? The bosses come to intimidate you. Now, wait a minute. How could we four intimidate all of you? We've just come to, to reason with you and uh, point out that this, this baby ought to be back in, in her crib so that grown men could get on with their work. You are wise not to heed speech of serpent. And this baby not ready for crib yet. Now, look, I'm talking to these men. Have you decided to follow this uh, Joan of Arc? That is the first true thing you say. I am addressing myself to them. All right, what is it you want? What are your demands? We have not yet formulated our demands. Well, in that case, don't you think the men should continue to work until you do? No. We shall strike first. Miss Lacho would insist. All right, Tylee. You've done enough damage for one day. Let's get on home. As rebel leader, I choose to stay with rebels. Well, do you think you'll feel as comfortable here as back at the Ponderosa? It's an awful long way to call for help. Tylee, it's just as comfortable to negotiate at the house. Now, let's go. Goodbye for now, my brothers. But I promise, victory shall be ours! Dolly? Uh, how come you, uh, you met this Miss Lao Chu? Well, you see, my honorable father was rug trader from Persia. Hmm? He come to China on business trip. He married my mother. She was Chinese princess. This was against imperial law. Dowager Empress, after I was born, take my honorable father's life. My mother was desperate. She worried for my life, too. Then she learned about Miss La Chu, so with hidden money, she sent me there. Now, surely your mother didn't send you to Miss La Chu to study the art of vengeance. No. Mother too soft. 
That Miss Lao Chu, she's strong, like tiger. She say vengeance important part of making revolution. Seems to me that Miss Lao Chu would have wanted you to be a very good judge of when to make revolutions. <laughs> Once I hear, he pretty man. That seems to be the normal condition of everybody lately. Maybe you better come kitchen with Hop Sing. You want me to run from enemies? Sure, Hop Sing do all the time. Once I, you honor our home. Would you sit down, please? Um. Do you care for some tea? No, thank you, honorable master of this dwelling. I put my pride aside to come and beg your intervention with this... this visitor in your house. Oh, yeah, well, uh, as a matter of fact, I was just about to discuss the situation with her. Good. Because I... Uh, I do not know how to discuss business with a woman. That is because you men have never admitted we have brains. I, I know how difficult uh, your coming here must, must have been for you. But we'll uh, do everything in our power to remedy the situation. Then ask... ask this person to name her conditions. Well, Tylee? I have not yet decided conditions. Tell this person Sign agreement. I will fill in condition later. Well, I wouldn't do any such ridiculous thing. Then men strike to your due. I'm an old man, but my patience grows thin. Yeah. Once I... I'll do everything I can to, to persuade the young lady to... Act with more consideration for all concerned. I regret my humiliation in coming here. I should have listened to advice of Tong Brothers. Boss. Miss Tylee, I think the time has come to stop playing games. I am not playing games. You have become involved in something far beyond your very immature understanding. Miss Lao Chu teach me to understand everything. I can just understand how that dowager empress must have felt. Please, uh, do not blaspheme. Feller, what can I do for you? One smoke. Easy. Mr. Hoss, he gone. Hopsing find this one. Go dumping out garbage. Well, what's that got to do with the garbage? This tongue chopper. Hopsing find wheelbarrow track leading to wagon track. Maybe they take him to failing for a tongue house. We'll find out about this. Come the revolution, Miss Lachu teach pupils no more tongue. You just better hope that nothing has happened to Haas, young lady, because of Miss Lachu's teachings. Thank you. 
prisoner. You've heard me judge you guilty. Have you anything to say before sentence is passed? Yeah, th this ain't constitutional. I agree. It's highly irregular. Welcome, Mr. Cartwright. We've been expecting you. Your son is in grave trouble. Yes, I know one, side, But uh, I'm surprised at your methods. You surprised? But at the last meeting, I told you if your methods failed, I must use age-old methods of Tong. But why against my son? Because Na Shen has accused your son of casting a spell over Tai Li. Well, we found Haspan. Let's get out of here. Only when I say so, gentlemen. Please look behind you. Wan Sai, I have a suggestion I would like to discuss. Can afford brief truce while you expound suggestion. Thank you. Would you like to see Tai Li under the influence of a husband? Would I not? I've already offered prayers to the gracious Quan Yin. What have you to say to this? If this person who has bewitched her will fight for her. Excellent. Agreed. Paul, oh, wait a minute. So be it. May the spirits of earth, air, and water favor the better man. Thank you, my son. Paul. Oh, Boy, how do you get to be so lucky? Let's go, son. Paul, wait a minute. What are you trying to do to me? Well, I was just... Think of this as a... sort of a chess game. A chess game? Yeah. Right now, once I stalemate it, and you're freed. Yeah. Yeah, but what's this about having to fight for Ty Lee? Oh, that, well, that's... Uh, that's another game entirely. Yeah, and she's the only one that knows the rules. Well, don't be too sure. <sighs> No, Paul, maybe you ain't gonna show up. It's been a full day already. Well, one day, two days, today, tomorrow. He'll show up. I sure hope you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing, son. Tylee is no different from any other woman. She ain't? Well, up until now, she has been. Oh, how interesting. You prepare a weapon to fight for me. Well, I prepare a thing to dig a hole with. A hole that I wish I was in. I do not understand. You should prepare for a fight. Miss Lodge, you teach, always be prepared. Always be ready to fight for revolution. Uh, Ty Lee, as a, uh, as a student of revolutions, it might be of interest to you to know that this country was born out of a revolution. Can this be true? Yes, yes, it can. Miss Lao Chu never mentioned this. Well, Miss Lao Chu, notwithstanding to the contrary, etc., etc., it is true. The American Revolution was one of the first great victories for liberty and freedom. So you see, we really don't need anyone to teach us about revolutions and things like that. Although, once you're married, you, you'll have other things to occupy your mind. Then I shall not marry. I will not give up work of great teacher. Well, as I told you before, the immigration office in San Francisco says you either get married or go back to China. And as I told you before, that is injustice, tyranny, outrage. But it is better than going back to China and having a head chopped off like Miss Lao Chu. Yeah. Besides, I can easily train husband. Yeah. Mm. You want to find one first, though. Where is Nashan? Why has he not come to fight for me? Well, it just could be that he's got a whole lot more sense than you gave him credit for. Uh, he's, uh, he's probably preparing himself. He'll show up. He better. I know how to take care of a person who insult me. Honorable Horse Cup, right? 
moment of decision has arrived. What's going on, Pa? Shh. You're about to witness the battle of the century. Well, what's Horse going to fight with a can opener? <laughs> I challenge Horse Cartwright. If you are not coward descended from long line of Seng, come out and fight for Tai Li. And nothing lost in translation. <laughs> uh, look, Nashan, there ain't no use me and you batting heads over this little gal. She's all yours anyhow. You just take her, and there ain't nothing lost in the transfer. Now, hold on, son. Did you hear what he said about being descended from a long line? You trying to make me out a coward? No, Pa, but... You try and make me look undesirable? Well, no, but couldn't we... Son, get in there and fight. <laughs> Trying to win, are you? Yeah. They fight over me, like two knights fighting over fairy princess. is greatest revolta of all. I'll tell you this, best fight I ever lost. It's something, too. Well, I'm very happy to announce the resumption of work on the railroad spur, and I'm even happier to announce that Tylee has given up politics in favor of matrimony. Although she unquestionably has left a mark. That's right. We've got the first pool table in any bunkhouse in the territory. Even I concede credit 
for helping Tong Brothers get slight raise in pay. <laughs> Hop Sing getting new stove and cookbook. Cookbook? They any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I have the best of all. Best yet to come. Miss Lao Chu, keep on wall. She keep away evil spirit. Well. Well, don't feel too bad. You can still write the Yippee Trading Company. We have the 4th of July, you know. Hey, yeah. Might be sort of interesting to see what kind of fireworks they send this time, huh? <laughs> <laughs>